Okay, so I'm going to be discussing the three types of strokes. So to begin with, um, there is an ischemic stroke, which is a blockage in the um, arteries that supply blood flow to the brain. Um, when there is these blockages, um, they reduce blood flow, but they also reduce oxygen that gets to the brain. And when there is this loss of circulation, um, if it is not restored quickly enough, then it can result in um, brain damage that's permanent. And this can be because of um, damage or death to brain cells that do not regenerate and come back. Some symptoms of this kind of a stroke include vision problems, um, paralysis of your limbs, um, can be dizziness, confusion, um, loss of coordination. Um, when symptoms start, it is very important to go get treatment as quickly as possible because the longer that one waits, that could um, determine whether the damage is going to become permanent or not. And this is often um, caused by something called plaque, which is a um, plaque like in the arteries, which is also um, known as blood, like a blood clot or um, like the fatty buildup is the plaque. Um, the second type of stroke is the hemorrhagic stroke. This is a blood vessel in the brain that um, happen, this, um, happens when a um, blood vessel ruptures in the brain and it causes um, bleeding on the brain. And when this happens, it compresses the brain tissue, which means that it damages or weakens um, and kills, can kill the uh, brain tissue. Um, there are two types of hemorrhagic strokes. The first type is um, the intracerebral hemorrhage. This is when there's bleeding that occurs inside the brain. And this is known as the most common type of um, the two types of the um, hemorrhagic strokes. The second type is a subarachnoid um, hemorrhage. This is when there's bleeding that occurs between the brain and then the membranes that surround the brain and that cover the brain, I mean. Um, this can be caused and um, known as some risk factors are from hypertension. That's one of the most common causes. Um, it could happen when there are um, blood vessels that do not form correctly uh, in the brain and then that makes them, that could make them weak and then um, some pressure or da um, damage to the brain could result in that rupturing. Um, some symptoms of this could be um, a severe sudden headache, vision loss, again, loss of balance or coordination, um, numbness in the arms or legs, and seizures is also a symptom. Um, the last kind of a stroke is a TIA, which is also known as a transient ischemic attack, which is like a mini stroke. And um, this is caused from temporary blockage or decreased blood flow to the brain and these typically only last for a couple minutes and don't normally cause um, permanent damage however one in three people that experience these types of mini strokes will um, have a normal like a real stroke within um, the year that they experience the TIA. Some symptoms of this include all of, um, just like the other ones weakness numbness of or paralysis, um, slurred or um, slurred speech or difficulty understanding what others are trying to s tell you. Um, you could experience loss of coordination, balance again, blindness. <clears throat> Some causes of this could be from a buildup of cholesterol containing the fatty deposits, which are also known as the plaque, um, that occurs in one of the arteries that supplies oxygen to and nutrients to your brain. <clears throat> and um, another um, cause can be from some health conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, um, and along with people's lifestyle choices. And that's all I have.